What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. Just getting done mowing for the day. And I'm back at home. Let's do something. And before we get too far into this video, I do want to let you know that this is a sponsored video, a paid product video by a company by the name of Zep. They sent me out a couple of their products to check out, see what I thought of, and kind of show you guys. So I'd like to do that in this quick video on their industrial purple solvent degreaser. Let's check it out. Now here's the thing, guys. This big nasty jungle wheels that used to be on my Encore Premier Pro. Yeah, these things have broke so many times in my lifetime. But as you can see, there's so many greasable points on this that are so disgusting and nasty. And every time I would move this plate, they would be so gross. So I'm gonna hose this thing down. This is a straight trial video to check this thing out because this thing looks disgusting it's it's horrible so i'm going to soak it in some of this purple degreasing solvent that zep has right here in the can let's check it out in the light shop grade solvent formula dissolves heavy grease oil tar removes adhesives and paint lifts deep oil stains from concrete and asphalt so, but it gives you all sorts of different things to use it for but on this i don't care about this thing at all i just want to see how it does as far as getting this nasty grease and just build up off of this thing. So I'm just gonna set the camera up right here for right now, and I'm gonna start just hitting some of these areas with this. I'll tell you what, stuff comes out like a rocket. I can already see it coming off, to be honest with you. That's actually pretty crazy. Not even scrubbing it or anything. Let's actually do this bottom plate. It's got a bunch of crap on it. Now on the bottle itself, it says, spray the surface, wait one to two minutes, wipe or rinse. I'm actually gonna wipe it or use a brush because that's normally what I would do on something like this and just see how well this works. Because if this works like I think it is, this is gonna be a great product for something else I'm gonna show you real quick. Could also be a great product for these, which are the mower blades that get this buildup of thick grass on here that's hard to get off. So I'm actually gonna hit these with that as well too and see how well it does on these mower blades. And I got the mower blade off to the side right here. Give it a minute or two and come right back to you guys. All right guys, I'm back. I literally just grabbed a brush, grabbed the hose, and I grabbed myself something to drink. So it's probably literally been a minute and some change, maybe a minute and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna take the brush and start hitting this side right here. Oh yeah. Wow, that comes off a lot better than I thought it would. You can see how much grease I just took off of this little spot right here and I kind of added over here. Let's do the plate on the bottom here. Stuff sitting on here. So I really don't expect it to get this as much, even though it is doing rather well. And I'm just going to try to do this side of it and leave the other side exposed to kind of show you a difference maybe. Maybe when I hit it with the hose, you'll really be able to tell. Mainly just bottom part of the plate here on the side. All right, let's see how it does with, pretty good there too. A lot of paint, let's get up close real quick. So you can see the separation here and here. This isn't grass buildup as much as it is the coating of paint that was on there because you can see the steel here and black paint. But you can see all the green running down on here is all that buildup of grass and other material that gets on the blades that this is just kind of soaking off. Like I haven't even really scrubbed this area or hit it with a brush. It's just kind of taking it off. Same thing here. You can see how well that gets the grease up off that. This thing was completely caked right here. Now there's pretty much nothing. And here on the other side, you can see all the grease, especially in here, which is the opposite side of what I sprayed and cleaned. So much stuff gunked in there. 
Let's hit this stuff with the hose real quick and see what happens. On the bottom of this plate here, you can tell 100% which side I used the product and didn't. It got this stuff up super easily and looks brand new. Same thing with all the grease and nastiness that was in here. I used to have a grease zert right here where you would pump the grease in and the grease would always come out and it got it all off with no problem. That's pretty dang impressive. And on the blades, I wish I would have just let it sit a little bit longer. It got what I would say probably 80% of it off. That's with no scraping or really scrubbing hard at it. It got a lot of that grass residue off, but with the grease, dude, I am super impressed with that. So yeah, guys, that's awesome. Big shout out to Zep. Two of their big products they're launching right now is the purple uh, degreasing solvents that they're using. They got the industrial purple degreasing solvent and the purple degreasing cleaner. If you wanna check out either of these products, there will be links in the description where you can check both of these out. And I am really impressed with both of these products. So like always guys, thanks for watching and again, thanks for Zep for sending this stuff out to me and sponsoring these videos. It helps me out a lot and I definitely appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys want to check them out, check them out in the description. Like always, like, leave a comment, let me know man. Let me know about these degreasing products. I've seen Zep around since I was 16, working at High Boy, fast food restaurants, commercial cleaning products, business. I see the name Zep around a lot. These are pretty good products guys, I'm not going to BS with you. So like always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. What? We'll what are see you in the next video. Oh. <laughs> it's my son.